Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. This is going to be a Scorpio reading for September 11th, the 12th, and the 13th. There's hundreds and millions of Scorpios out there, so this is not every this is not every single one story, okay? And also feel free to swap around the energies. I could be talking to a cross watcher, right? That's when you're watching the other person's story. Um, like the other person's zodiac sign. Okay, so there's so many changes happening. I'm sure you guys are feeling all the energy shifts. Um, you know, Mercury's going into Libra. We have Air, you know, Mars and Aries in retrograde. We have Pluto going direct in October. We have um you know, Jupiter going direct on September 13th. Venus is in Leo, you know. So, and Jupiter has a lot to do with God, with wisdom, with karma. So, let's see. Two more shuffles for Scorpio. Oops, one more. Scorpio. September 11th, the 12th, and the 13th. All right. Cards are huge. It says, raise your frequency, Scorpio. So, cut them off. Cut whoever off truth is unfolding in your life the unexpected mentor change your environment wow so you might actually be a wise leader um you know through your journey i've every you know you're able to use everything that you've been through to mentor others that or somebody's helping you realize the truth in your life and um again change your environment cut off anything that is negative okay anybody any thought patterns any mentalities that you're telling yourself, you know, any lifestyles, any people, any situation that are just not serving your higher frequency. Okay, Scorpio? So, it's September 11th, the 12th, and the 13th. Scorpio, one more shuffle. Safe travel, Scorpio. You are protected in this new journey here. Just keep the faith. Um, animals and generosity. So... Um, it could be you having to help somebody out or somebody could be helping you out, you know. And um, also, you might have a strong connection with animals that could actually help your healing. So, let's see, Scorpio. September 11th, the 12th and the 13th. Scorpio. One more shuffle for Scorpio. September 11th, the 12th and the 13th. So, you're single, Scorpio. You know, money's good. <laughs> uh, four of Pentacles, you're saving it. Five of Wands, okay, it could be because um, you don't want to be generous to people. Uh, five of Wands, maybe you're tired of always helping people out, always asking you for things, Scorpio. So you're just putting an end to it, Scorpio. The Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Okay, you could be debating on whether or not to invest in a, a relationship with somebody here, a marriage. You're not making any moves. You guys could have, um, you guys have history. You guys could have your backs turned to each other. That's kind of, um, that's the card. That's what it's saying here. You know, um, you guys could be at a little bit of a distance here. And it could be a lot with anxiety and stress. Page of Swords. Somebody's stocking some money. Yeah, but you're single. You got money. Money make you handsome. Let's see, Scorpio. September 11th, the 12th, and the 13th. Scorpio. We got the death card, Scorpio. So you could be standing in your power. Or you're just cutting things off in general. So, yeah, it's, the truth is unfolding. I mean, it's like you're starting to realize things. It could be about a certain somebody here. You could be wanting to message somebody. But you're not making in any effort. You are this person um, wanting to message you. But they're not doing it. Seven of Wands. Somebody's guarded toward this connection. Um, and it's, it's in an effort to protect your heart. So what is this Four of Wands for Scorpio? King and Queen of Pentacles, you see? Both of you guys were equally financially stable, right? The eight, this card wanted to come off the top, so I, I put it down. Uh, it was the Eight of Cups. So, you know, you guys could both be having to walk away from something. That way you guys could have this reset. Or, you know, you guys could be, uh, you know, breaking up with somebody to get into a relationship with somebody here. Somebody new, right? Uh, page of cups so this could be a new offer so what is this queen of pentacles twice the sun card upside down see somebody has this lack of motivation this lack of confidence they're lazy um it's like able to do it when they feel like it so maybe that's why you're cutting off this person you don't like how they love you when they want to 
uh, Nine of Cups. Maybe that's something you've been wanting, Ten of Swords, is to put an end to this um, cycle, right? Uh, you could be dealing with the Cancer as well. Um, that way you guys could balance the situation. So you guys could be taking a break from somebody here uh, this weekend, Scorpio. What is this Nine of Swords for Scorpio? Yeah, and maybe so it, it's like a reset from a page to a Knight of Cups here. You could be dealing with the Pisces as well, Scorpio. But, you know, things are not what they seem. Um, yeah, somebody just feels not good enough. They're putting a distance between you guys. It could be... Um, distance emotionally physically and then here we have the three of wands so it's also like feeling planning and strategizing somebody's what is this five of pentacles for scorpio yeah somebody is getting out of the illusions here with the seven of pentacles upside down um they're pulling a back from their money from their dreams and going after this person. Okay, Scorpio. So this could be you or them. You could also be dealing with the Libra, Scorpio. What is this Page of Swords, Scorpio? The Empress card. Oh, we got a lot of cards. Yeah, see, this Empress, you or this person, is going after their dreams and goals. Wow, these are a lot of cards. So there's insecurities here. You guys could be communicating rather quickly about having a family, but somebody's not happy. Um, and this is serious love, guys. King of Cups. The High Priestess, though. Somebody knows somebody loves somebody, <laughs> if that makes sense. But they're learning to reprioritize themselves. So, what's gonna happen for Scorpio this weekend who's putting themselves on a pedestal here hmm, Scorpio so you might be alone dealing with the Virgo because you know your worth Scorpio do they know your worth <laughs> let me check they're debating your worth what Scorpio let's see Scorpio six of wands two of pentacles Scorpio Okay, so somebody's, okay, yeah, somebody's having this idea to go forward in their life because of somebody else's inconsistency. The Knight of Wands is passionate, but, you know, he's in and out, so, but somebody does want to offer somebody something here, Scorpio. So, September 11th to the 12th and the 13th, Scorpio. One more shuffle for Scorpio. You speak to me through music. I hide behind material things. You are the best thing in my life. It was my fault, but I blamed you. I know that I crossed the line with you. I knew exactly what I was doing. It's time for me to heal now. I'm starting to understand our connection. Yeah, Scorpio. So I think you might be single, enjoying your money, enjoying your money, Scorpio, and <clears throat> you know your worth, and they're debating your worth. I feel like this person has always had doubts about you. Maybe your your money wasn't how they wanted it to be. You know, they just had doubts, and now it's regrets. You know, because it's like you're you're good. You know, you're good. You know, you could have, um, somebody was debating and now that caused, like, you know what? I'm not even, I don't even care anymore. I'm good. I'm not even going to move towards it. You know, I mean, you or this person is getting stressed out over it, Scorpio. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close it off there. I want to thank and welcome all my brand new subscribers. Um, other, I, I appreciate it very much. Other than that, guys, you guys are more than welcome to, um, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, like, share, right, guys? Much love. Talk to you guys later. Have a great one. Bye.